What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey Here we got Neems. What's up guys? How's it going? How are you what are we doing? doing today Neems? Today we're going to Maxfield Chef Max well or Maxfield Max Field. Field. and Fear of God and we're gonna take you guys with us and I'm dressed as Lumberjack <laughs> Lumber <laughs> Neems. <laughs> Number Lumber Neems in the building but, yeah, um, That's what we're doing yeah guys uh, super excited to take you guys with us um, a lot of a lot of people have actually been requesting us like vlog there so yeah. we give the people what they want I'm excited to see the truck with the shoes on it I don't know if you guys see the Instagram oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah I know what you're pretty, talking about yeah, I'll, I'll post a picture right here oh, cover cool, you yeah. up so we decided to pull off in Inglewood because we couldn't stand it anymore so hungry and we found this place that got some good reviews on Yelp it's called Ronnie's Diner. Let me know if you guys have been here before. Oh, right oh, in front. Right up front parking. VIP. Let's go. Inglewood, California. Shout out to Inglewood one time. Um, we couldn't make the trek all the way. We just got way too hungry. So we're gonna eat first and then head over to Maxfield. But yeah, just a quick little intermission here. <laughs> okay, we're causing a scene. <laughs> Do you want me to pull it off? Yeah, I'm take scared. it off, take it off, take it off. Neems, it's going up your call. No, it's not. <laughs> take it off. Is it? Is it a beat? There's oh nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> the struggle is real when you're using a 50 millimeter primer. <laughs> it's really good. Yes. I'm excited. All right, guys, so we just got here to the Maxfield line. Uh, I didn't expect there to be this long of a line, but there is one nonetheless. Oh, the lighting's bad right there. So we are going to power through this line and hopefully take you guys inside with us. I don't know if they mind or not that we have cameras, so we'll oh, see. Oh yeah, it's going to be a doozy. Yeah, are you guys a group? Yeah, we're just going to. Hey, Jeff. Yes, sir. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, Sarah? Yes, Sarah. Oh, look, okay, for me. So I'm currently in the fitting room. Here is the white denim. About to try it on, size 32. Shout out to my friend Sarah who held these for me. So this is a size 33. They are a lot longer than the 32s, but the 32s I couldn't close, so still deciding. Stack's really, really nice. Yeah, these are beautiful. So here is the white denim with the shoes. They actually look really good. I just wish I wasn't so dang short so the distraction could show a little bit more. So we just left Maxfield. I ended up not picking up the denim just because they didn't really fit me that well. Um, I am shorter in stature and I just I couldn't justify spending you know over a thousand dollars on them um, I mean had they been the indigo I probably would have picked them up but I just don't see myself wearing the white ones as much um, yeah man um, I, I passed on them I mean I could have easily purchased them just to resell them and stuff but um, I know Jerry you know isn't you know he doesn't appreciate when people resell his stuff and um, I just didn't want to like cross that or whatever and I don't know just like a, a realm or a spectrum that I know nothing about so yeah they ended up being too tight on me um, I really like thick thighs and calves and so I had to size up uh, to 32 which wouldn't close um, on the button portion and um, down through the calves and stuff like that was a little bit tight as well as um, I'm just being I'm shorter so uh, like the, like the distressing or the blowouts of the knees were just like not in the right area I guess just because my legs are short so um, I don't know I'm, I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't get them but it's okay I saved money and what do you think names the day is young, the night is younger. <laughs> you shall find another denim. <laughs> One way or another. <laughs> wow. I'm just speechless. Anyways, guys, we're going to continue on with this day. And oh, thanks for joining Mikey. us. I used to love those, like, day beach clubs. Beach clubs? Have you ever... A few moments later... 
we just left the Mint Crew studio, or should I say the office uh, area that they have. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to the entire team over there for being so hospitable and so nice, man. Um, just to, I learned so much about what it takes to make um, denim and fabrics and just everything that comes along with like making clothes and stuff. And it was just cool to just kind of soak it all in. It's it definitely uh, enlightening. Neem's got like a full tour yeah, of everything. Yeah, full tour of uh, sewing and graphing and grading and size runs. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so the guy Max over there, super cool guy. Um, I just did a trade with him for a pair of Fear of God denim. Um, I legit checked them, they fully check out. So um, definitely hyped on them, I love how they fit. And I gave them, or I gave Max a pair of my uh, NMDs, the Pharrell Williams, the human races, the orange ones that I had. And yeah, let me know in the comment section down below who won the trade. We just got here to Third Street Promenade. It's actually my second time here. Uh, the first time was such a great experience and I actually didn't get a chance to see it all uh, just because uh, they were closing. So Neem says there's a lot of great shopping here and stuff like that. So hopefully we can find some good stuff. I like this alley too, it's really cool. Yeah. You don't find stuff like this in Orange County. Nope. And yeah, what type of stores can we expect to, to see? Zara, um, H&M, Forever 21. Your classics, Adidas. Foot Locker, Shoe Palace. Oh, dang. I know the entire <laughs> bar. <laughs> Got Louis Vuitton. Anything you want, everything at Third Street Promenade. But also, you can also check out my eBay now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, check out his eBay for real though. He's got some good stuff listed on there. So we're currently here in HM and found a hoodie. I'm gonna try it on in just a second. But uh, fun fact, uh, the Mahmood brothers are here. Um, I just talked to Waji, super cool dude, which doesn't feel like, or it doesn't seem like he wants to be in my vlog, so unfortunately I'm not gonna get him in the vlog for you guys. But yeah, he's currently in the store right now. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out this jacket and see how it fits. It's this great one right here. All right, so I found this hoodie, has dropped shoulders. I think I am gonna pick it up. Love how it fits. So, 35 bucks, not too bad. Yeah, I think it's a pickup. Just left H&M, got some stuff here. Neem's picked up a shirt as well. Uh, right now we're just gonna walk around the area. Honestly, um, there really hasn't been anything um, as of late at PacSun, so that's why I decided to just kinda uh, walk by it. But yeah, let's keep working through this place, see what we can find. And yeah, this place is just so cool. Oh, oh. Wow, this is nice. So we just got here to Zara. This is actually the first Zara slash store that Neems did a store review in. Yes, my very first one. Yeah, one. so I don't know, we're gonna take a look around and see what they got. This one's really nice, it has a drop shoulder. It's kind of exaggerated, but I do like it. I love how the gold contrasts against the brown. It's a crop, very nice. I think I'm gonna have to try this on. So here is that brown sweater that I showed you earlier. Shoulders drop really low. I think it's pretty nice, but it's a little bit too basic for the price that they're asking for it. Still a cool piece nonetheless. I just, I don't need more sweaters. I don't know, now I see it. I kind of think I want to get it, but I don't need it. I gotta say no, I got to say no. So here are the Zara zipper denim with the distressing. Unfortunately, I can't do an on-body review just because they don't have my size. What I will say is for the price of $80, I say pass on these. Um, the quality is just not there whatsoever. Um, yeah, the, like they're just so thin and the distressing just doesn't look good to me at all. I don't know, just, I'm just not a fan of these too, too much. And the zippers, look how short they are. I think these are only, what, five, six inch zippers. So yeah, for these I'd say pass. I mean, if you have them already, uh, let me know what you guys think, but I don't know that I'd uh, spend 80 bucks on these when there's so many uh, better alternatives out there for cheaper. So these just released. I'm surprised I actually have them in store. Prime knit upper. Pretty nice. Yeah, if they had them in black, I would get them. 
gray and black. Decided to pull off for a little snack time. Got these pretzels. Copycat over here. What? <laughs> no. Actually, I got the idea from him. Yeah. But, looks good. One of my favorite brands, favorite stores, All Saints. 20% off. So, as time progresses, I just fall more and more in love with this brand. I love All Saints, man. Check this out. So, this is an oversized sweatshirt. It has this like fading at the bottom with plaid. I know you can't really depict it on video here, but it looks like it got dipped in like bleach or something. But not bleach, I don't know. And it has a zipper here on the side. Which is cool because here, it's, it's like asymmetrical. So there's only a zipper on one side. Really like this thing, man. Definitely mess with this a lot. I'm gonna get this. I mean, maybe not today, but I'm gonna buy this, 100%. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be mine too. I'm gonna get this in due time. We just left All Saints. Guys, honestly, I see myself transitioning to more All Saints stuff. I'm not leaving fear of God per se, because, I mean, I love the brand. However, oh, there's Barney's, huh? All right, let's go in there. Um, I think I'm gonna try and like put more All Saints in my closet. I just, as time progresses, and as I spend more time in that place, I just like it more and more. So yeah, and I also, I kept saying like, oh, I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy this, because um, I met a guy named works there super cool dude and um, he's gonna help me out with uh, purchasing some stuff with like a little discount here and there so super generous of him that said we just walked into Barney so I'm gonna put this away and look around I know huh? this is your stuff right here oh this is kind of this one's kind of cool So we're here in Barney's, got the Yeezy Season 3 oversized hoodie. It's priced at $325. Let's throw it on and see how it looks, if it's worth $300. It feels really good actually, it's really freaking heavy. I like how um, it's a drop shoulder, it really, really drops down pretty far. So, oh, I'm digging it a lot, it's got the nice stitching on there. So. Size medium is not exactly complementary to my diminutive stature. It just looks really, really big. I don't know if you guys can like really depict it, but I feel like I look kind of silly in this. This is a medium, so maybe I'm small? But yeah, this thing is just really big. I mean, I, I don't know, it's kind of growing on me. I don't know, man. No, I don't, I don't think I could pull this off. There's some people that can pull this stuff off, but I certainly can't. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Presenting Kanye West. So we're about to head out. That's gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanna say bye, Names? Bye, guys. Always great to check in with you guys, and hope you guys are doing well. Yep. And participate in the question that we asked. But yeah. Which one? Oh yeah, earlier. All right, yeah. for sure. All right, guys. As I end every video here at Locust on Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed. Bye.